What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Ryan's cleaning a Dreamcast right yep. now. <laughs> yeah, it's looking pretty good. And Abby's coming out from the office. What time is it? It's like 2.30-ish? It's about 2.30. We've been pretty busy today so far, so we haven't had a chance to film. Luckily, we have a break in customers, so these are the trade-ins so far from today. Let's take a look. All right, so in no particular order, we have Mega Man 3 purchased from us, played, and traded back in for Tiny Toon Adventures. <laughs> StarCraft 64. This is a really cool one to get in. Same with Harvest Moon 64. And then Pokemon Black, this is complete. We also had a Pokemon, was it Pearl or Platinum? Platinum. Pokemon Platinum complete traded in, but that actually already sold because it was on somebody's wish list. So they got a text when it came in, and, and then they, they came in, they called and came in and got it right away. Then we have some Turbo Graphics games, which is really freaking cool to see. Can you explain the complete in case, complete in boxing? Because we've had multiple messages okay. before. So, with Turbo Graphics on the website, if it is just the title of the game, it is a cart only or card only. It will say complete in case if it comes like this. This is complete in the case. It's got the game, the plastic case, and the manual. If it says complete in box, which none of ours do, that would be this inside the big cardboard box. So it'll say exactly what it is. If it doesn't say anything, it's just the game only. So we have Vigilante. Bloody Wolf, Sports TV Football, Sports TV Hockey, Sports TV Basketball, World Court Tennis, Final Lap Twin, and Davis Cup Tennis. There was one more game in here that has already sold. That was Keith Courage and Alpha Zones. That was actually game and case only. It didn't have a manual. And by chance, that was the only TurboGrafx manual we had in the back. So we were able to complete it, and it already sold. Then we have Nintendo Dogs Lab and Friends. Spider-Man 2, Dave Mira Freestyle BMX 2, Forza 6, and Resident Evil, Raccoon, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, Red Dead Redemption, Injustice. This one, I couldn't believe the price. Um, our system had it priced at 10 which I already thought was probably high, so I double-checked it, and it's 18 bucks on price charts. It's crazy. Ultra Street Fighter 4, and Black Ops 3. So that's everything from so far today. Sales have been really, really good. We've sold a lot of those GameCube games we got in yesterday already. Um, the Disc Only Wind Waker sold, uh, Simpsons Hit and Run sold, and in Mario Sunshine sold. Maybe some other stuff as well. I don't. I, I haven't been doing all the sales, but yeah, a lot of that stuff is sold, which is really cool. We sold an NES. We sold a Red Wii. Any other consoles today? Oh, we got a Wii U back. Oh, yeah. Someone brought back a Wii U. They said that it wasn't reading discs, um, and they had purchased one game with it. I think Ryan already put it back out here. The game that they purchased with it would not read, but I tried three other games, and they all read, so it was, it was this, the game, not the console. The game looks perfect, though, so once we get our, you know, our new resurfacing machine, we're going to try to resurface that one. But, uh, so yeah, the console works fine. It was just a game. He still wanted to return it anyway, though, because one of the games he was trying to play, um, he said wouldn't load, but it was uh, Mario Galaxy for the Wii. Um, I didn't test one of those on here. That wasn't a game he bought from us. So he, tr he brought this back, and he ended up getting a red Wii instead. And he's also the same guy that got the Pokemon Platinum. So it's, you know, pretty good so far. Really, really busy. This box here is all the stuff we still need to ship. These are all the orders that we have pulled. A lot of people are asking about the GameCube games. Um, we're sold out of almost everything, but I have already placed another order. Stuff is still kind of limited. I can't afford to buy 15 copies of Batman, for example. So I think I got like five. Um, we have some new stuff coming as well, not just restocks. So there's different GameCube games, different N64 games, some other cool stuff. So... Hopefully you guys are excited about that. It should be here, hopefully, on Monday. We have a ton of <laughs> trades here to show you guys. So, first, there's, like, some 3D printed, like, amiibo stand things. N64 controller, <laughs> NES Max controller. These, this one does not work. We have Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Golf, and Ice Hockey. And then Need for Speed, Mortal Kombat, Final Round Golf. Japanese Tetris, Donkey Kong Country. Were there any consoles or anything? Mm. Oh, the got a 
Battlefield Xbox One S. It does not have the matching controller, though. Um, were there any other... Anything else? No. Got a bunch of, uh, oh, yeah. <clears throat> got some Disney Infinity and some Skylander figures. So, some more in here. Oh, cool. Look at that one. It's huge. That's no, pretty cool. I don't know if I've ever seen this one. But... That one comes apart, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Can you put them in a bag? Yeah. So, these go in here. Normally, the ones I've never seen, I would look up. Because sometimes there are some expensive ones. I'm I just don't care enough. Away from having 70 subscribers and is posted. <laughs> Abby has almost 70 subscribers on her no content channel, guys. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, these are in no particular order. And these are from multiple different trades. We have Mortal Kombat XL. Friday the 13th, the Ultimate Slasher Edition. SpongeBob's uh, Atlantis Square Pantis. Power Rangers Samurai. Terminator Salvation. Bionicle Heroes, Prince of Persia, Forgotten Sands, <clears throat> NASCAR Heat Evolution, Gears of War, Far Cry 5, disc only for PS4, Need for Speed Payback, Chron Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian, Hasbro Family Game Night, and Portal 2. Someone called about this earlier looking for it, and they ended up buying an orange box instead, because <laughs> we didn't have it. The PS3. Yeah, we didn't have it for PS3, but then this one came in afterwards. We have Grid, Cars, Mater National, Disney Infinity, Lego Lord of the Rings, Batman, Arkham City, Mod Nation Racers, Transformers, Rise of the Dark Spark, Amazing Spider-Man 2, Gears of War 2, Sesame Street, Garden Warfare, <clears throat> Disney Infinity, Lego Harry Potter one through, years 1 through 4, Angry Birds Trilogy, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, MLB 10, Little Big Planet 2, and Lego Indiana Jones. Lots of Lego games in there. Aggressive Inline, NBA Live. ESPN College Hoops, Madden, WWF Raw, Outlaw Golf, Nine More Holes of Xmas, WrestleMania 21, Taz Wanted, Halo Reach, Fallout 3, Madden 10, Black Ops, FIFA Soccer 10, Duck Dynasty, Ryan's favorite TV show, <laughs> Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Mech Assault, Lord of the Rings 2 Towers, Cars, that sticker needs to come off, Blood Wake, Finding Nemo, Italian Job, Mission Impossible, and Scaler. And then Mario Kart 8, Lego Jurassic World, Tom Clancy's Rogue Spear for PS1, Sonic Adventure for Dreamcast, Soul Calibur for Dreamcast, Zombie U, GoldenEye, Elder Scrolls Online, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Alien Isolation, Fallout 4, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Fallout 76, Dying Light, and Far Cry 4. <clears throat> Last two stacks, Red Dead Redemption, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, Lego Batman, Pure Double Pack, Assassin's Creed 3, Gears of War, <clears throat> Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3, Mist 3 Exile, Pitfall, Lost Expedition, Kirby's Epic Yarn, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, Need for Speed Underground 2, NFL Blitz, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Fusion Frenzy, NFL Street, uh, Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess HD, and first print Wind Waker. And then Tennis World Tour, uh, cartridge only. Splatoon, Lego Marvel Avengers. This is the Mass Effect trilogy, but it's missing the slipcover. Halo 2, Halo 1, Silent Scope Complete, Dead or Alive 3, NCAA 2K3, Cell Damage with a crease down the front, and no manual. Madden 2003, Agent Under Fire, Wolverine's Revenge, got some bad water damage. Bad Boys Miami Takedown, and Dead Island Game of the Year Edition. So nothing too special in here. There's a couple good titles, but mostly it's just kind of like filler stuff. But uh, a lot of this came from uh, one of our guys who shops at the outlet a lot. So <clears throat> when it comes to stuff that those people bring in, we try not to be too picky because we want them to keep coming back, obviously. So we try to just take everything. And he took store credit too, which is, you know, that's always nice. So we don't have to pay out for <laughs> random stuff like lord of the rings or mech assault uh, store credit is always better for us all right guys i'm about to head home for the night um abby left quite a while ago yeah as you guys know i stay late most days to work on stuff it is 9 15 so i'm leaving a lot earlier than i have been uh but i got this whole tub ready to go there's four big boxes on top but there's a bunch of bubble mailers and stuff in the bottom 
So we are almost completely caught up with all of the orders. Um, there are still some items that were on back order that have sold. Um, we have like five or six orders from people who did local pickup and they just have not picked up yet. So obviously we're just waiting on them for those. Um, and then as far as orders that we have to ship out, I think we have two or three left only. And they're just bigger ones that require more pack and like a bigger box and stuff like that. And I know it looks like we have a million boxes, but, um, you know, we just haven't had the time, I guess, to, to put together these larger orders. All the stuff is grabbed already. Um, but it's mixed with whatever is for the other orders. So we have to go through it a second, second time just to make sure we have everything properly. Um, and then go from there. So I'm hoping, well, I'm not hoping hundred percent positive by Monday, this stuff will be going out. So tomorrow we should be able to get the rest of the orders shipped and our neck, our next factory sealed order is going to be coming in not Monday. Um, so we're going to most likely have it Thursday. So like I said, there's going to be some new stuff in there that we have not ordered before. And then also restocks on some stuff that uh, people have been asking for. So that's pretty much where we are, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Today was a pretty good day overall. Sales were, were really nice. Um, I told you some of the stuff that sold earlier, but um, after that point, we sold... We sold a gray original Game Boy and also a Glacier Game Boy Advance. Um, also, we sold the the regular Nintendo Switch that we had in stock. Um, and I think we have someone... I think Abby talked to them. They said that they're, they're only in town on Tuesday, which is the day that we're closed, but they want to get an Xbox One X and asked if we would come in on Tuesday to sell it to them. So... Um, I don't know if both of us will come in. Um, it's kind of Abby's thing since she's the one who's talking to him. So she might come in. Might, might be both of us. Not sure yet, but um, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so <clears throat> I am going to go to the post office, drop off these packages. Actually, no, I can't drop them off. Every time I try to do this, I always forget. Um, Saturday night, I try to take packages and the freaking box is always locked. So I end up having to go to the one outside the post office and I can't, I can only fit really small ones in that. So these are going to stay here until tomorrow and then I will drop them off. If I drop them off, if I were able to drop them off tonight anyway, nothing would happen because the post office is closed on Sunday. So there's really no need to drop them off so early other than to conserve space here at the store. Um, either way, we also have this big one here. This is going to Canada, and uh, that one's not going to fit in any drop box. <laughs> so uh, that one will go out Monday. The post postman will probably come here to drop off packages, and he always takes whatever we have ready for us, which is very, very nice of him. He does not have to do that, but he does it. Cool guy. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow.